So we just finished um, trying all of the Wawa breakfast sandwiches and hash browns and everything. We did a total of 26 trays and now we are trying all of the um, desserts that ShopRite had donated to the AC Rescue Mission and then we're going to be serving soon. Uh, my name is Mike Kesson. I'm the chef here at Atlanta City Rescue Mission on Backrack Boulevard. We feed about, say, like 700 people a week. It's really fun. We gotta work with what we have. We're not a restaurant, so we don't necessarily get things ordered that we can put together right away. So we work what we got. You gotta be creative here. Uh, tonight is the beginning of Thanksgiving, like the week of it, and we're probably gonna feed about more people. Probably at least like almost 900 this week, or maybe a thousand. So, if you wanna be a part of that? Come here. Come volunteer. It's a great time. So for our group project, we had decided to volunteer at the AC Rescue Mission, and I honestly felt like it was a very uplifting and enlightening experience. Um, as soon as we pulled into the place, we were automatically greeted by people just on the streets and around the rescue missions, just saying like, God bless you guys, thank you very much. Since it was the beginning of Thanksgiving week, I felt they were very grateful for us to be there and to just help you go up to a desk and you sign in to volunteer and then they directed us towards the kitchen where we went back there and the chef seemed very just happy that we were there just very thankful because he usually on monday nights only has two volunteers so it was great to have an extra four people there we originally were taken to the back storage unit like the dry storage area where they have all the food that is donated to them. And then once we were done unboxing everything, we went to another area where we cut up pies and it was very just uplifting and you could tell how happy they were to have us because it wouldn't have been done without us being there. Once we were able to get all the food out, we then moved on to the line, the food line, where we handed out to I would say roughly about 100 people, and they were all so grateful. I was handing out um, desserts, so like muffins, donuts, um, stuff like that. Just four college students decided to donate their time and donate for something greater than themselves. Um, usually I do do other volunteer work. Um, since I am in Tri-Delta, we do work with St. Jude, so... Every year in the fall, we do the St. Jude walk and run in Seaside Parks, and we will volunteer there, 
helping sign people in, just cheering people on, and just showing how much we support them. As well, I'll also volunteer at um, Alternative Spring Break with the school. So we go to North Carolina, South Carolina, or Delaware usually, and we partner up with Habitat for Humanity. And we build houses and just help out around there. So volunteering at the AC Rescue Mission kind of gave me like more of a at-home experience and more of a like automatic like repercussion which like just grew my heart and just made me happy because you could see just how grateful that they were right there and then be great that we could just hand out and give out anything and just donate our time to them as well we had put a donation box around Stockton and we brought all of our donations from there which were clothes hats um, scarves as well as non-perishable foods it was a very great experience and I definitely want to do it again. It was a very humbling experience for me, and I think I can speak for all my teammates as well. Um, uh, the chef there was very appreciative of us, of us coming in um, and helping him out. He was very excited, um, energetic. He gave off this uh, kind of mood in the room that like rubbed off on all of us, uh, even the people in the uh, in the food buffet line. Uh, you could feel his energy, and it, I'm guessing it made their day as well. Client-wise, it was very, uh, it was very touching and heartwarming to, uh, for so many people in a short amount of time, say thank you to you. Uh, all I did was hand out uh, fruit cups, and they were th saying thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much, kind sir. It's like, it's sad what they've been through. Um, Obviously, we don't know all their stories, but it's really sad seeing them in this uh, this state. But they kept such a positive mind through it all and um, really are appreciative of every single person that goes in there and helps them uh, get their next meal. They don't have to worry about where their next meal is going to come from. Um, it's a very, very uh, prestigious honor for me to go to that Atlantic City Rescue Mission and help them out. I've... I've never really done community service um, to that extent. I've done smaller things like collect clothes and that kind of stuff, but I've never gone into an actual um, food drive place and uh, give out food to people in need. Volunteering at the rescue mission was very rewarding. Um, when we finished up, um, it was very nice to feel that I did a good deed um, for the community and the homeless in the Atlantic City area. Um, the, all the um, locals were very thankful, along with the volunteers that work for the rescue mission daily, were very thankful to have our services. Um, I'm very grateful to have um, volunteered with the Atlantic City Rescue Mission and um, hopefully we'll uh, look forward to doing it again soon.